In other words, the chemistry of life isn't unique to Earth or even to the Milky Way. It's cosmic. It also changes how we think about the timeline of life's potential origins. For years, scientists debated whether complex organics could have existed early in the universe when the first galaxies were young and chaotic. JWST's findings suggest they did, meaning that even within the first few billion years after the Big Bang, the basic ingredients of biology were already forming. Life, at least in chemical potential, may have had a head start on a cosmic scale. To make sure this signal was real, researchers compared Webb's infrared data with models and with local analogs, nearby galaxies whose dust and star formation properties are well understood. The match was exact. The same distinctive PAH bands we see in our own Milky Way's nebulae are present in this distant dwarf galaxy. And in some ways, they're even stronger, perhaps due to different dust grain sizes or a harder radiation field. There's something poetic about that. These tiny molecules, shaped in the furnace of ancient stars, are emitting their faint light across 12 million years of space and time, and we're only now able to read their chemical signature. Every carbon ring web detects is a message from a galaxy that existed long before our species began wondering where we came from. What does this really mean for the bigger picture? It means that the chemistry of life is not rare. It's not a fluke of our solar system or even our galaxy. The processes that built the organic scaffolding for life are built into the universe itself, woven into the way dust and light interact wherever stars are born and die. That's the part that gives scientists chills. Because if the same chemistry repeats everywhere, then the odds that some of those places took the next step, forming amino acids, proteins, maybe even primitive cells, just went up dramatically.